Conscious Broadcasting Network, live on iTunes and archived on iHeartRadio, the voice of consciousness. And now, join Shea Parker's best of the best, offering celebrity guests, lively discussions, hot topics, free psychic readings, and expert guest hosts. Simply the best in spiritual and metaphysical talk radio. Listen live on your phone or device using our universal mobile player. No app needed. Shea Parker's best of the best. Find out more at bestamericanpsychics.com. This is psychic medium Jill M. Jackson, and I'm so happy to be hosting Best of the Best Connect Soul to Soul again this evening. And I have a very special guest with me tonight. I have Allison Hayes, the rock girl, and Allison is doing an amazing tour with me, and we're calling it the Mystic and the Medium. And Allison the Rock Girl has been named the 2011-2012 Psychic of the Year by Best American Psychics. She's been featured on the cover of Own Times Magazine. She's appeared in the season finale of Cindy Lauper's She's Still Unusual on Wii Television. And I am just honored and excited to be able to do this next tour with Allison. We've done several events and galleries so far together, and we have lots of new things to talk about this year. So welcome to the show, Allison. Hey, Jill, are you there? <laughs> I am here. <laughs> okay, good, good. We've connected. Yes, I've heard you loud and clear. I just didn't know if I was linked in. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be on your show. Um, it's an honor to work with you. So excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, this energy, it feels like Mercury retrograde, but it's not Mercury retrograde. So I am having some issues with my electronic devices. Yeah. Well, I think it's because your frequency is so so off the charts. So that, that's my my speculation. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, so this evening um, we are going to be talking about the mystic and the medium. And so why don't you talk a little bit, Allison, about how this came together, and um, and then we'll kind of start from there. Oh, okay. So the mystic and medium thing. Okay, very good. Well, once upon a time, um, I moved to Asheville. You moved to Asheville. We went to the Best American Psychics Retreat. We met. And um, after, you know, kind of trying to connect over about, what, two or three years, so we actually connected. I I think it was at the first Best American Psychics Retreat. Um, You know, we decided to do a gallery together. And it's kind of funny because our energies are so different, but they're they're so compatible. And we did a gallery together in Asheville in the freezing cold. Remember that? That was crazy. Yes. Uh, (laughs) And and it is, you know, something really magical happened. I mean, you do a lot of of high frequency medium work and I do the the psychic stuff and clearly I'm I'm more earth based, but the the your mediumistic energy amplified my psychic stuff and my earth energy amplified the medium stuff. And I think, I don't know, what was it into like the third or fourth reading that we we each did? um, Something magical started to occur in the audience where you could literally see the energy start to um, emulsify, if, if that's even a word. And this incredible healing started to happen. And so you were delivering mediumistic messages about loved ones who passed over you could see the healing. I could see that their eyes start to soften and their hearts start to really balance out. And then they were asking psychic questions about, okay, now now what do I do um, with this information? And so the psychic stuff started coming out because their spirit guides started stepping up. And this really magical thing started happening and and healing occurred from both the heaven and earth and the psychic and medium mystic messages. And I remember we looked at each other and we're like, wow, that was that was really interesting because I've done galleries before. You've done galleries before. And just the blendings of the two modalities of the psychic and mediumistic really worked well. And I think a lot really happened when we got the feedback from from the audience about what a transformational experience that continued. I'm going to put continued and underlined in all caps 
to occur after the gallery, after the gallery. Um, and so that was really magical. And, you know, it was fun. Um, you know, I do a lot of appearances and I know a lot of um, people out there who do the appearances. You can feel the stress and a lot of times you get nervous, but it was really fun. There was a lot of laughter um, and everybody really had a good time. And what emerged out of that was a second gallery that we did last uh, September. Was that right? Last September. Yes. Yeah. September. And, yeah, and we did it in a different venue, and it was a little bit of a kind of a different format, but it really worked well. And I remember at the end of the gallery, like there were so many happy faces, and and I, I guess we looked at each other and said, "Wow, we should do this again." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we had no idea when we first started doing this that it would sort of metamorphosis into. Um, kind of a life of its own, and you're right. We do we do have such varied energies, Allison. But we're able to increase and heighten each other's gifts, and you're able to ground me, and I'm able to kind of give you more of the um, air air water energy. And it's been amazing to watch what what happens. And you're right. The feedback from the audience has been. Not only that they do receive the psychic guidance that they came for or messages from their loved ones, but the energy in the room gives them a different vibration that many of them have never experienced before. And they've been able to leave with a type of healing. And that's what you and I are passionate about. You know, we're both very good at what we do, but we're passionate about continuing the healing journey and helping everyone out there learn to raise their own vibration. Yes, yes, absolutely. And and it's funny that, you know, the, the, the healing part of these messages is really what I believe is, is the catalyst for growth because, you know, we've, we've gone from doing the, just the Friday night gallery, so to speak. Uh, we're also doing workshops and we're also doing private readings. So now it's turned into a four and five day event, which is more than we ever really kind of thought it would be. So, you know, again, taking on a life of its own, it sure has. Absolutely. And the next event, for those of you listening out there who may live in the Florida area or know someone who lives in the Florida area, we're actually going to be touring two cities coming up in April. We're first going to Naples, Florida, and then we're going to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And if you go to our website, which is www dot mystic and medium dot com and the a and d is spelled out all the way if you click on the events tab you can see below there you'll see our two galleries uh, listed there and you can click on there to reserve your seats and then there's also a little button down below that says for more events and information click here click there and that gives a listing of everything that we're doing for our Florida tour. And bear with us, we have some changes going on on the website where we're adding some really cool bells and whistles that aren't, aren't quite functioning yet with our events page where you'll be able to click on and, and reserve your spot. But um, for now, you'll absolutely be able to read about what we're doing. And um, after the break, when we come back, Allison, I want you to talk about some of the workshops that you're gonna be doing. And I also wanna talk about the exciting lecture that we have coming up in Naples as well. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. There's there's plenty to talk about to talk about because we we have the workshops and the readings and the lecture, and then I know that in um, we're, we're going to be moving on from Naples to Fort Lauderdale um, and doing a gallery then, and then we have some more exciting events for June and October of 2016. Yes, and we'll talk about those in detail when we when we come back today. Now. Um, before we go to break, Allison, why don't you tell everyone how to get in touch with you um, outside of the mystic and the medium? Okay, very good. Well, um, I can be reached at my main website, therockgirl.com. It's T-H-E, rockgirl.com. That's my main website where I have all my services, psychic readings, healing, so on and so forth, appearances. And I also have the sacredstoneschool.com. It's sacredstoneschool.com. And that is my school for all of the classes and all of the workshops and and um, not only in Asheville, but New York City. I have Japan on there. I have Pennsylvania. So it's it's all over nationally and internationally. Classes and workshops with so detailed descriptions of everything. And I, I, you can sign up for classes through that website. 
Beautiful. And, and I'm honored that, uh, that we are able to do the mystic and the medium together because I know that you have so much going on. You're, you're, uh, doing tours in Bimini. You're doing tours in, in Japan and, uh, Pennsylvania. And there's so many other places that you, uh, do appearances. And so I know you're quite busy. So it's, it's an honor to be able to share the energy and do events together while we keep our own events separate at the same time. Yeah, it's quite the juggling act, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. But it seems to just fall into place with whenever we start planning the next venue, um, we we both get inspiration that kind of goes uh, falls into line with the, what the other one was was thinking. So I'm excited. I'm excited about all of the new venues that we are already planning for 2017. Um, so there's lots more coming in 2017. Yeah, there sure is. We actually have to sit down and talk about that and <laughs> block that off. So Yeah, and try to try to fit it in. Um, but we are going to be taking a short break. And again, this is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. You can reach me at my website, www.jillmjackson.com. You can find Allison and I both at bestamericanpsychics.com. And again, you are listening to Best of the Best with uh, Connect Soul to Soul. And I am proud and honored to be a guest host on Om Times Radio, and we have received amazing feedback from all of our guest hosts on Best of the Best, so we're so excited to keep this journey, uh, take it to the next level. We'll be right back after this short break. You're listening to OTR-FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Do you want to be a better communicator? Do you want to better connect with the important people in your life? Do you want to enrich your relationships? If so, join me, Matthew Cooper, on the Positive Control System Show every Wednesday evening at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on OM Times Radio. I'll meet you there. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. OM Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single OM Times endeavor. Host your show with OM Times Radio Network. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Circle of Hearts Radio is a sanctuary on the airwaves. Join me, Grandmother Alaya, in the circle on Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, as I share information to both enlighten and nourish your soul. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back to Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. And for those of you just tuning in, I'm so happy to have Allison Hayes, the rock girl, as my guest this evening. Welcome back to the show, Allison. Thank you. That was a quick break. It was <laughs> a quick yes, break, yeah. which was great because we have so much to talk about this evening. 
So before we went to break, um, I was talking about the different lectures and the workshops that we have planned in Naples. And so I'm really excited about one of the lectures that we're going to be doing together there. And it's actually about psychic kids. And for those people that have psychic kids and gifted kids who may not know what to do or how to handle those those children this workshop is actually it's a lecture is going to be for them so um, I'm excited about that yeah absolutely you know it's interesting there's so much information out there on the mainstream metaphysical and so it's making room for a lot of 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 uh, you know more topics and with that the psychic kids is important I mean obviously well, I was a psychic kid and you were a psychic kid and I wasn't able to really kind of A, understand it and B, embrace it and then actualize on it. Um, and I think educating not only the children but the parents is so important. So I'm, I'm really – I'm so psyched that actually um, – that was it you who thought of that topic? Um, <laughs> that was really good. Well, actually, um, Lucy, uh, Lucy Finch who actually runs a, a metaphysical studio in – Naples has had so many of her clients coming in asking about this topic and asking if there's anywhere they can go for help. And when she mentioned that, I, I said, Allison and I have a lot of information to share regarding this topic, and we would be more than happy and honored to do a lecture when we're there in Naples. So that's kind of how that was born, so to speak. But what I love about this topic is I think that everyone should know what's going on with the different energies being incarnated at this time because you have so many different types of children coming in. You, you know, there's the rainbow children, the indigo children, the crystal children, and even newer frequency um, gifts that are coming in that many people are witnessing, but they're not quite sure what it's all about. So do you agree with me, Allison, that even if you don't personally know a kid that's gifted, just having the knowledge of the new energies that are coming in, and I know this gets kind of deep, but I feel like that a lot of people could benefit from that. Oh my goodness, absolutely. And what's interesting is that a lot of the kids um, are coming in with this, obviously being born with it. But as as a lot of people um, age and mature, at a certain point, um, if they didn't have it coming in, it may start to awaken now. And so, you know, I think, you know, a good thing to do is educate you um, and others, you know, I mean, yourself and others on what that is. Because you may be feeling something, hearing something, seeing something and kind of brushing it off because it was never pronounced before. But in the new frequencies, a lot of awakening and activation is occurring at people throughout any age. And so what I think is so interesting about the topic, and again, it's, it's, it's um, you know, geared towards children but a lot of times when the gift starts awakening within you it could really present uh the same way it presents in small children which i find really fascinating absolutely and i know for myself more and more of my clients are saying to me that they are experiencing uh paranormal type scenarios themselves they're they're receiving intuitive flashes and so they're noticing these different gifts being activated within themselves. So just imagine, because as children, we're always a lot more open because we have not been conditioned to learn to say that that's not okay and it's not reality and this is not really happening. And so many of us are conditioned in that way. Thankfully, um, I was not. I was one of the, the luckier ones. My, um, my, my parents believe in in this and, and they really always have. And so I kind of thought everybody had these, these gifts, but I know f most of our friends and colleagues out there have been shut down for having these gifts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, and it's interesting to kind of explore what ages people were shut down, um, and who from. A lot of times, a lot of my clients and, and even myself, uh, my mother, um, was very psychic herself and it was okay to talk about, like, I have a feeling or I'm getting this gut instinct. But to actually use the word psychic was, was not, not politically correct. And so I, I actually grew up getting mixed signals about it. And then when I went to school and just started 
like talking about it, that's where I really got shut down hard was in seventh and eighth grade. Um, and so it's interesting, especially with this lecture with psychic kids, um, to prepare the parents to notice the, 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 the kind of um, signals that the children are giving off and to answer the questions. Is that my imagination? Is that the boogeyman? Um, is that a spirit who've passed over? Like, who is that? Um, and even, you know, when children see fairies, I mean, Jill, I know you have a lot of fairy energy in you <laughs> and, and, you know, that's what makes it so much, one of the many things that makes it so much fun to work with you is that, that fairy, that fae energy, that sparkly energy. And, you know, it's not just straight psychic children giving off psychic messages, but what are the subtle signs and symptoms and, and how can a parent recognize that and cultivate that in a healthy way? Absolutely. And one thing that parents can be cognizant of nowadays is children are becoming much more enlightened about our environment and about animals and taking care of, of Mother Earth and of nature. And they're a lot more in tune with what's going on around them. Have you noticed that as well, Allison? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and both you and I do a lot of animal rescue. And clearly, um, not only is, is the healing of, of, the, of people a, a priority for us and a passion, but also of animals and of the planet. And children, they come in with that innate connection. And I think a lot of us really need to be more more aware of how to protect that and how to nurture that. Absolutely. And you know what's interesting? You know, I look on AOL and, and Facebook and everything, and there's so many um, kids and teenagers who are coming up with brilliant ways of cleaning the ocean and the environment. I mean, have you seen those articles floating around about how um, there was one really great one um, about a 14 or 15 year old um, boy in California came up with a way of, of kind of filtering garbage out of the, the sea, which is amazing. That is so. amazing. And see, and that, that type of frequency, that kind of knowledge is absolutely coming in at a critical time in in our planet's history because we 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 do need to help mother earth and each other sort of heal on different levels and i know that you've been passionate allison about doing the planetary gridding and uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about that for a few minutes before we go to break Okay, yes, absolutely. You know, it's, it's interesting. It's all links in the same chain. And <clears throat> my, my big passion is the planet and planetary gridding. And first, the divine um, planetary gridding, it's working with energy grids um, to balance and, well, to A, connect to the earth chakras, balance some of the earth chakras that are out of whack, and, and tap into energy-rich centers, not only throughout the country, but throughout the globe, and help send um, positive healing energy to the areas that need it. And one of my theories that, that I apply in the actual workshops is tapping into energy rich earth chakras in, in very, uh, kind of balanced areas. Nashville happens to be one of them. And then sending the energy rich, um, vibrational frequency from Asheville to another frequency such as California um, or, or South America, anywhere that would need the healing, um, even Japan with all of the, the Fukushima fallout. And so that's really what my passion is. But in order to work with the planet, you yourself has to be, have to be first healed. And so I always start with the shock balancing, the auric cleansing, the Reiki, and then connecting and balancing it with the psychic energies. And do I deal with stones? Absolutely. But is it limited to stones? No. There's a, a way that I teach people how to become a human crystal. So if you're going to a certain area, you can find the earth chakra, you can connect to it, upload the information, and then channel it through long-distance Reiki to another part of the globe. And so, um, you know, I know that sounds like a lot, but it actually, if you break it down it's in, into simple steps, it, it's quite easy. And so, um, working with people to do that and working with stones to do that is great, but I, I'm very passionate about also connecting to the children because, as you say, they, they're coming in with that information. And what they're, what a lot of them are not being, um, kind of exposed to is the conventional kind of, um, 
focused, like microscopic energy. They're seeing the big picture. And so um, to tap into that energy and to have them just simply ask questions, you're like, wow, that was really easy. Why didn't I think of that? Absolutely. And and it's beautiful work that you've been doing with that, Allison, and with the, the gridding. Now, we only have a couple of minutes before we have to take our second break. So Quickly, can you um, can you share your thoughts with me about you know obviously the the, the poles have, have tilted a, a little bit. I mean, always that's always happening with with our planet. But have you noticed the gridding changing a little bit with the meridian lines, with the changes that have gone on the last few years? Absolutely, absolutely. And see, um, at the at the 2012 calendar, it was the end of the Mayan calendar, 5,125 years, it was um, actually the Earth was tilting one way. And then at the beginning of 2013, it started to tilt the other way, thus the the poles, um, the North and the South Pole, um, changing. And so it's starting to slowly shift back the other way for another 5,125 years. And in doing so, the way that some of the Earth chakras are moving, some of them are closing, and as some of them are closing, the tilt is actually opening a whole nother set of chakras that have been dormant and resting and recharging for quite some time. So new earth energies and vortexes are opening up and it allows us access to new healing energy that we haven't been working with um, in our lifetimes, Jill. So, That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have more to say about that when we come back from our break because I, I'm just fascinated with this, with this topic. So thank you for sharing that. And we are going to take a short break coming up. Again, check out our website. It's www.mysticandmedium.com. If you click on the events tab, you'll be able to see our Florida schedule coming up. And again, our next schedule is June in Asheville. We'll talk more about that when we come back from the break. But we have exciting workshops. We have galleries where we actually deliver messages in front of the audience. We have that coming up in Naples at the unity of Naples and in Fort Lauderdale. And we will talk more about that in detail when we come back from the break. This is psychic medium, Jill M. Jackson. I'm with Allison Hayes, the rock girl. We will be back in just a few minutes. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Hi, this is Sylvia Henderson, Intuitive Life Coach and Energy Healer. Are you ready to elevate and rise way above your normal? Be sure to listen to my show, Intuitive Transformations, on OWN Times Radio, Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern. Get the inspiration you need to transform your life. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Come on down. You're the next listener of the Joe Show's second annual Salute to Game Show's Price is Right, Uncensored, a two-part series airing on Wednesday, March 9th and Wednesday, March the 16th. We will take you back all the way to September 4th, 1972, the first day Price is Right aired on CBS. The Joe Show speaks with longtime former producer Roger Dobkowitz, Million Dollar Spectacular announcer Randy West, and longtime former Price is Right legendary host, Bob Barker. So mark down Wednesday, March 9th, and Wednesday, March 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 
Old Times Radio on The Joe Show. You're listening to OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back to Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. For those of you just tuning in, this is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson, and I am joined this evening with celebrity psychic Allison Hayes, the rock girl. Welcome back to the show, Allison. Thank you, Jill. So excited to be here. Yes, and we have so much to talk about, but I just want to finish this topic before we move on to other exciting topics. Allison and I were talking about the earth chakras, balancing um, the meridians, and how the energy has shifted starting in 2012 going into 2013. And based on on what you've said, I, I really resonate with that, Allison. But it's amazing how many of my clients are being guided to move to to other areas. And I feel like that our chakras inside ourselves have different frequencies that sometimes don't align with places that we've been used to living in at times before this energy shifted in. And I know sometimes that we can correct that with the um, the chakra balancing and with the gridding and things like that. But sometimes, and I want to get your take on this, um, I feel like that we are being guided to go other places to help our energy align with those areas and balance it in a different way. And I wanted to, to get your thoughts on that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it really, there is a huge migration, if you will, of people. If you look back over the last five years, starting before 2012 and going through that, because because the earth is shifting and the earth chakras are shifting, we are so connected to that frequency as human beings that if that shifts, we need to shift with this with it otherwise everything in our life goes out of alignment and if we don't listen to the subtle nudges the subtle um kind of 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 signals then things like oh we lose our job or in my case i got divorced and i had no choice to move the earth was telling me years before um i moved and it's so funny that you say that jill because i actually moved from new jersey and new york to Asheville, north carolina in um, actually, the fall of 2011, so I was here in 2012 during that huge shift. Isn't that funny? It is funny, and I was here during that same time period as as well for, for many of the same reasons. So for those of you listening out there and you've started receiving these intuitive sort of nudges are these signs and synchronicities that maybe it's time for you to look into leaving somewhere really pay attention to that and and call on your own guides and teachers to give you signs as to where you should go and when um i'll share a really funny story real quick a really good friend of mine had been asking her guides and she's very spiritual but sometimes she's a little bit hard-headed like we all can be and she was asking her guides for a sign of whether she should move from the house that she was living in and literally she stepped out in her backyard and she lives in a very nice area but at that moment she's saying i really really need a strong sign uh, to her guides and her angels and do you know someone threw a half-eaten egg nut muffin over her fence and it landed on her foot oh god <laughs> no, <laughs> no. She's in, she's in a very nice area where these things don't happen. So, you know, that, that's a sign for her that, okay, I, I'm listening. So use, use these signs from your guides when you, when you have things like this happen. Yeah, that is actually a really great story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so back to the mystic and the medium. I want to talk a little bit about the gallery that's coming up. We have our first gallery. It's Friday evening, and I believe it's April 8th, and it's taking place at Unity of Naples. And there's still some seats available, so feel free to check out our website. You can go ahead and click the link there and reserve your seats. And I, any time that Allison and I have come together, like she said earlier, there's so much that goes on. There's, there's tears, there's laughter, there's, there's healing, but it's always a really entertaining evening. So I hope that those of you who know someone in Naples or are in Naples or the surrounding areas will check out that gallery. 
Yeah, yeah, it's actually, it, it's a good time, even if, you know, a lot of times, you know, no one's guaranteed readings, but we, we do. I have to say, Jill, you and I, we, we crank out a lot of readings. <laughs> yes, we do. We're both really quick. You know, I, I'm not one of these uh, psychics or mediums who um, beats around the bush, and you're not either. I mean, the information just really flows out quickly, so we are able to reach a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, and and for those people um, who don't get a reading, it they they do just energetically, you know, get a healing. They receive a healing, but it's just a good time. It's it's a fun Friday night, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And then Allison and I are both teaching workshops over that weekend. I know uh, Allison is teaching her introduction to Rock Girl Reiki. And uh, do you want to talk a little bit about how yours is different than the traditional? Reiki that many people are familiar with, Allison? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm teaching, it's called Introduction to Rock Girl Reiki. And I, I teach at my school in Asheville and also in New York City at the Rock Room, I teach um, traditional Reiki. It's traditional Sui Reiki, Takata Reiki, and then I also have European Reiki. And so over the years, I have kind of blended a lot of the modalities. And a lot of the Reiki, it comes from above and it flows through your crown chakra and out through the hands. And when I was in Europe training, I actually learned how to connect to the earth chakra and not only run earth chakra energy, but blend them um, and really kind of fine tune both above and below energy and help um, my students who become practitioners and go on to, to a lot of them become teachers run that specific energy. And what it does is it fine tunes you as a channel to run energy right through you. And once you learn how to channel energy in that way, um, it really helps you on the, the personal growth and spiritual transformation, but it also can make you a stronger healer, a stronger psychic. It, it actually blew the doors off a lot of my past life um, uh, connections and readings because of the way the energy was being able to come through, and it really prepares you for planetary gridding as well. And so it's... I, a lot of people joke and they're like, it's a little bit of Reiki and a lot of rock and roll and rock and roll, meaning like earth based energies, but it's still running um, traditional Reiki and it's done with the traditional symbols, but we fold in earth energy and divine at the same time. And I have a four level Reiki program and because we're in, <laughs> in Florida, excuse me. Um, and I'm, I'm just teaching a half day and it's really an introduction to that method. Um, and I, it's funny because I always called it traditional Reiki. And what I do now is I go over to Japan and I'm teaching rock girl method Reiki because they, they Japan, obviously Reiki started in Japan and they're, they're very used to the traditional Asui Reiki there, but they've invited me over to teach rock girl method Reiki. And so that it's actually been coined that over in Japan and people are calling that here. So that is really what rock girl method Reiki is. And it can really improve the way that you process energy on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual planes. And so the workshop that's, that I'll be teaching in Naples is a four-hour intensive, and it covers you know, the, the mechanics of it, um, and the basics and people will be attuned with a sacred symbol. It's not the traditional Reiki symbols, but it is a sacred symbol from the rock roll method Reiki. And it's a great prelude, um, to the traditional Reiki program that I teach here in Asheville. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yes, very, very. I'm excited as well. And, and what's cool about it is even if you're not planning on, becoming a, a healer and going on and, and setting up your own business, it's it's able to help you on every area of your life. It's able to help you tap into your own intuition, as you said, and it's also able to help you get more clarity and more guidance on things that are going on in your life. So I highly, highly recommend you checking that out. And then Allison and I are also both doing private readings for three days in Naples. I believe a couple of the days are already sold out, but we do have a few spots available. And I know that um, Allison, as I mentioned earlier, reads for many celebrities. You can check out her rep website at therockgirl.com. So it's exciting that she's going to be introducing her in-person sessions to the Naples, Florida area. So those of you in that area that have not been able to experience Allison's readings, I can tell you she will blow you away with her accuracy and with her information. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> thank you. 
So um, when we come back from the break, um, we're going to go to break in just a few minutes, our final break for the evening. But I want to talk a lot about something that's really exciting and dear to both of our hearts, and that's what we have coming up with the Ohm Sanctuary here in Asheville, North Carolina. And that's a lot more intensive program than what we're able to do in Florida. So we'll spend some time the last segment of the show talking about that, Allison. So why don't you tell the listeners how to get in touch with you after the show? Oh, yeah. And I was thinking, you didn't say what you were teaching in Naples. Yes, I am teaching Introduction to Mediumship, which is a really fun class. It's a a four-hour class. And it kind of gives you the basics, talks a little bit about the difference between psychic and mediumship. It helps you start tuning in to that type of energy because it's much different energy, uh, as you know, Allison, than, than psychic energy and reading psychically. So I'm teaching that, and I'm also teaching my level one psychic development class on Saturday. And that is a really fun class. We, we, we go over a lot in that eight-hour class, so that's an all-day class on that Saturday. Yeah, that's that's exciting. I, I'm I'm off on that Saturday, so um, maybe I'll come to your class. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Or you or you can lay out on the beach and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I saw that beach. It looks really nice. <laughs> so, uh, why don't you tell our listeners how to get in touch with you after the show tonight, Allison? Absolutely. Um, people can find me at uh, therockgirl.com, sacredstoneschool.com. If you want to email me directly, you can email info at therockgirl.com. And also, a real fun place to hang out is my Facebook page. It's Sacred Stone School on Facebook. Just punch in Sacred Stone School, and it will come up the fan page. But we do a lot of um, interaction as far as chit-chat back and forth, postings, and conversing on there. So it's a nice little community. And Jill, we also have our own um, Facebook page, Mystic and Medium Facebook page. So do like us there, and, and please feel free to, to comment, and we will, we will certainly love to hear from you. Absolutely. And you can reach me at www.jillmjackson.com or the mystic and the medium.com. And we will be right back after this short break. Please tune in for the last segment. This is OTR-FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Join Elliot Jolish, the business therapist, each Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern for the Elliot Jolish Hour as he interviews business experts on your behalf. And you're invited to email your business questions to questions at ecjgroup.com for answers live on air every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Elliot Jolish Hour. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Hailing Light, on Ohm Times Radio, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Hailing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings.
This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Very special guest with me this evening, Allison Hayes, celebrity psychic, the rock girl. Welcome back to the show, Allison. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jill. And we, we've we been talking a lot about our upcoming tour, The Mystic and the Medium, and we, we got off uh, sidetracked on some really interesting topics along the way, but I want to finish the, the segment tonight talking about Mystic and Medium. And as you mentioned when we first started the show, Allison, about how this sort of came about. I just want to talk a little bit about that and and try to explain to people the magic that did occur when we joined energies together. And as far as I know, we are the only uh, psychics and mediums in the country right now doing galleries where both psychic and mediumistic messages are delivered. And I think that that's something really exciting for people to check out and experience if they haven't had an, an opportunity to do so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, it, you know, it, it's an interesting, I've had a lot of, of feedback about that. And the people who, you know, there's people who've had um, experience with galleries who've come and I've had first, you know, feedback from people who were first timers. And, you know, they really enjoyed that because they were able to see for themselves and feel for themselves, not only what the messages came out like and what they were, you know, kind of addressing, you know, obviously the psychic stuff addresses um, past, present, future of of the people on the earthly plane and the mediumistic of those who have passed over um, however they uh, an interesting kind of um, feedback that I've received and I don't know if you if you've gotten this um, I actually just checked some messages the other day and got some updates and they said they could actually feel the the frequency shift when they were sitting in the room yes. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it is. It's very cool. And and I've I've spoken to people who have have been to some other galleries and and thought at times, even though there was a, a lot of evidence coming through and, and a lot of messages, that it could sometimes get a little bit boring for the other people that are in the audience. But what they've mentioned with with our galleries is that it's it's far from boring. That it is entertaining and touching but at the same time they feel something going on inside them where they feel the energy and the frequency shift and that's what it's all about yeah yeah so, absolutely um, um that's that's funny that you say that because um you know um you know we, we've actually that last gallery we did we we the enter it's funny you put the energy out there and and a lot of the people i've noticed in in the um audience they were very colorful animated and they brought their own energy um to the event which i thought was really cool that is very cool i love that and so what we're wanting to do going forward sort of our vision for mystic and medium and again it just keeps evolving and growing and who knows what will come out of it next but what Allison and I envision for Mystic and Medium is these events around the the country and having different experiences for people to attend the galleries and see what it's like with the psychic and the medium mediumistic messages and having classes with us different workshops um Allison teaches psychic development I teach psychic development, but we both teach very different methods of psychic development. So we're going to be coming together and sharing that with the people that come to our workshops about how you can learn to tap into your intuition by tapping into the earth and the crystals and the, and the chakras, and, and that's Allison's expertise, and by also tuning in to some of the clairs and using some of the tools, and, and that's more... Um, sort of the way I teach. So we're going to be bringing that together. Um, I'm going to be teaching the medium mediumship as we go along. And then um, Allison will be doing chakra balancing and her rock girl style Reiki, method Reiki. So you want to talk a little bit about that, Allison, about what we have planned coming up and talk a little bit about the um, event coming up in Asheville. I believe it's the first weekend in June. 
Yes, yeah. It's actually, you know, it's going to be my 50th birthday on June 5th, and that's going to be that Sunday. Isn't that funny? That is funny. <laughs> what a great birthday present. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I just realized that, and I was like, okay, what, what a way to spend my day is doing something I love. So that's a good thing. Yeah, so um, you're based in Asheville, and I'm based in Asheville, and Asheville is a lot of people who've been here. Um, it, it's really a magical place, and it's a great um, kind of... Um, um, environment to go through the awakening and the activation and the metamorphic process. It's really a weekend of transformation. And so on Friday night, we're going to be doing the gallery. And I believe that is June 3rd. And Om Sanctuary is is just that. It, it's Om Sanctuary. It, it's a sanctuary nestled in the hills of Asheville, surrounded by magical energy and the foliage and the trees. And there's a waterfall. And it's a really great energy for, for transformation. And it, it's a very powerful place. And so as people go through the gallery and, and get the, these messages and then go through the workshops and then have readings afterwards, it's really a, a long weekend of, of transformation. And, and I think a really good word that we've been using, Jill, is an immersion, correct? Correct. <laughs> you yes. immerse yourself. And so Friday night is the gallery where we'll be deli- delivering messages. But we also like to leave time at the end of the gallery for questions. Um, you know, a lot of people bring up a lot of questions and a, and a lot of times throughout the gallery um, people are are compelled and inspired to ask questions and so we, we encourage people to kind of write down their questions and there will be time at the end of the gallery for questions and it's not about just the readings that they received a lot of people have questions about energy psychic ability you know mediumship and that's really what inspired us to go on and create the workshops the next day so we're going to be doing two days of workshops in Asheville that Saturday and Sunday the 4th and the 5th, we're going to be coming together and we'll each be doing some psychic workshops and then I'll be doing the chakra balancing, some crystal workshops and so on and so forth. But I think, Jill, it was like after this last gallery when people started really asking questions about um, energy and psychic abilities that we, well, in half an hour is not enough time to answer it, so let's do some workshops. And so I think that's really how that morphed. And then we have Monday and Tuesday blocked off for individual psychic readings. And we actually planned it that way because after you go to the gallery and you experience the energies, you have some workshops. And then if you have further questions, we can take a deeper look privately um, into your energy field, your guides, your loved ones who have passed over, and also be able to customize um, a lot of the the energy and and solidify and bring it to focus before the end of the weekend. So um, that's coming up in Asheville, and it's so, so great because it's near and dear to both Jill and I. Um, And I actually, for people who are the stone junkies out there, I will be um, bringing some private collection stones for sale um, that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't normally bring anywhere else because of the vicinity. So that's a plus too. That is a plus. And I have had the benefit to um, be able to acquire some of your uh, private collection of of stones. And I'm telling you the energy from these stones is so much different than what you can normally find out there. So that alone is worth coming in and experiencing. And what we're looking at with this is for people to use this time as a transformation, an immersion into their own spiritual development and their own growth and come into Asheville. If you're, you know, if it's a few hours drive or if it's, if you're flying in from somewhere else, come into Asheville for those few days and sort of start the program with us and then grow with us as the mystic and medium grows. We'll have other events in October where you can choose to come back and sort of go deeper in your experiences of learning and and your soul growth. And so that's what this is all about. And check out the Om Sanctuary. If you go online, Om Sanctuary, I believe it's .com, and look at the grounds. And we encourage everyone to stay there that is going to come and spend those few days with us because it's absolutely a beautiful, healing, magical place. I believe they call it a, a holistic and an education center. But as you and I know, Allison, it's so much more than that. Absolutely. And what's great is is that they can come for the weekend, they can sign up for the classes and, and, and the readings, but Ohm Sanctuary offers three beautiful organic healthy meals a day um, and they offer yoga. And so it really is a, a 
truly transformational experience. And we've, we're so lucky to be able to offer that program in, in such a, a supportive and fertile environment. Absolutely. And so for those of you who may have some more questions about the um, Asheville event or even the Florida events that are coming up, you can email info at mysticandmedium.com and one of our assistants will get back to you with any questions that you need answered. And again, if you visit our website, www.mysticandmedium.com, the and is spelled out. You can go on the events page. And again, that's being updated, but everything is currently listed there for our Florida events coming up. So anything that you're interested in, you can click on the links for the galleries and register your seats for that because more than likely it will sell out. And there's also a place to register for our lecture that's coming up. And if you would like to participate in the private readings or the workshops, you can contact us through email. And we have just a couple of minutes remaining, Allison. I just want to thank you so much for joining me this evening and talking about such exciting topics and this exciting and fun tour that we have coming up. So I just thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this has been great. And I'm really, I mean, this is like our official kind of send off into the, the April event, which is going to roll into the June. And so this is, this is, this has been great fun and I'm, I'm really excited. And, uh, for those of you who um, want to reach Allison after the show, you can reach her at therockgirl.com or sacredstoneschool.com. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. Thank you for joining us for Jay Parker's Best of the Best. Be sure to tune in next week for more lively discussion topics. Have a great week, and don't forget to check out bestamericanpsychics.com. In case you need some professional, ethical, and accurate psychic advice from the nation's best psychics. Until next week, take care of yourselves and one.